Okay, well, I was successful in, in uh, 3D printing this pulse motor. And real good learning project. And I, I really am getting better and better at this 3D printing and learning how and what to do. And it's pretty darn... Uh, pretty darn neat the um, the design part of it if you make a mistake you just go right back into the computer and you um, redesign it and print out another piece and uh, it's pretty darn neat um, rotors were something I, I first started working on to get away from the lid and this is something that was really fun um, this infill is something I played around with to see just what do you need to make a, a rotor stout enough and the whole bit and then of course putting a hole down the middle of it uh, with something like this is so much better than trying to make a needle perpendicular down a lid which I've always had trouble with but uh, this is uh, half of this this was really the first successful one that I built up here and it's um, hollow kind of like that one there with that infill and um, it was just a little bit too big so I printed another one that was somewhat smaller but um, this uh, little arch here right here was 3d printed too initially I had it out of wood and then I went ahead and 3d printed it but uh, <clears throat> this was my goal was to print a motor that is uh, built in um, built on the computer in STL files sliced up with a slicer and then printed out with that new uh, Reality Ender 3, 3 printer, and uh, it worked really, really neat. Um, this was just the first one. Um, it's basically the easy spin uh, idea of laser sabers, which is a spin off of Bedini, which is a spin off of the Adams motor. Uh, it's a monopole. Uh, this is uh, the basic circuit of it right there. Um, all north facing poles, uh, coils that are wired in series on this one. Uh, and they're all in opposition. Uh, the um, easy spins, um, at least the one I made, was alternating north-south, north-south on the coils. But this one here is strictly a, a monopole. There's the little circuit diagram right there. Not much to it. Um, the coils are nothing fancy. It's 34 gauge magnet wire. The whole coil array is about 180 ohms. It's nothing to write home about, but I wanted something easy to wind and simple for my first motor. Uh, it's just a solar garden light solar panel, um, 100 microfarad uh, capacitor to hold the juice between the pulses, simple reed switch, and bada bing bada boom, there you go. Uh, the bottom bearing is the brass rivet down in there that the needle runs in a pool of oil inside the brass rivet. The top bearing is this PLA plastic and that's two millimeters on the hole and if the hole is loose enough because there's really no forces on this except gravity going down and the way this pushes on the rotor it pushes pretty much uniformly all the way around it so if you got this fairly level and you have that thing sitting in that uh, fairly good bottom bearing you don't need much at the top just to hold the needle vertical now you could do this with a magnet of course but then if it speeds up it gets to wobbling around so i i like to go with a a better bearing at the top but this this uh, was very successful this worked out real good and uh like i say this was my first successful um 3d printed motor done completely on a 3d printer except for the the um the coils are machine, uh, sewing machine bobbin coils, and um, I'll probably try to build up a bunch of these uh, other coils, 3D printing, but uh, sewing machine bobbin coils are just easy, so that's what I used. Thanks for watching.